Mrs. Ganomsky here, and I am wearing my mask. This is how I would look when I'm wearing a mask, but no one is in here right now, so I'm going to take off my mask so I can do large group with you guys or carpet time. Every day you're going to watch a video of me doing our carpet time. So today I'm going to teach you the Pledge of Allegiance. We're going to do this every day, so follow me. So right here, we're going to look at this thing. What is this thing called? That's right, it's called a flag. Can everybody say flag? Good. All right, so this is the flag. And when we do the Pledge of Allegiance, we stand really still and respectful. And we have our right hand on our heart. Let me turn around so you can find your right hand. So this is your right hand. And you're going to put it on your heart, just like this. Okay, and then we're going to stand up and we're going to look at the flag the whole time. This is a serious time, not a silly time. Okay, so stand up with me. Okay, here we go. We're going to do our Pledge of Allegiance. Now, some of you might know it, some of you may not, but that's okay. We're going to learn it. So here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. Now we are going to do our hello song. I'm going to teach you a hello song. We're going to practice it and learn it. And once I think we have it, then I'm going to teach you a new hello song. So this is how the hello song goes this week. It goes like this. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Very good, and if you don't know it, that's okay. We're going to do it every day until you get to know it. So here on carpet time, we have to sit a certain way in Mrs. Gadomsky's room. Now, I know you guys might be sitting in a chair right now, and that's fine, but I'm just going to show you when you come to school, this is how we're going to sit. So I've got a picture here, and this is my super sitter. And he is sitting exactly the way I would like you to sit on the carpet. He's sitting crisscross applesauce, hands in his lap. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So then you guys can practice this at home, and when you come to school, you guys will be experts. You will know what to do. All right, so when you're on the carpet, you're going to have to bend your one leg, bend your other leg, and get your hands in your lap. Now we sit this way so we're not touching our friends, and it helps us to focus and listen to Mrs. Gadomsky when she's teaching. So again, we don't sit this way, we don't lay down, we have to sit crisscross applesauce, hands in our lap. That's how we're going to sit. Very good. All right, in Mrs. Gadomsky's class we have rules. We have four rules in our classroom, and these are the pictures of our rules. This says rules, okay, and then we have four rules. Our first rule is that we are nice to everyone. So we are nice with our words and we're nice with our bodies. We don't hit our friends. No, we don't hit. We don't say mean things to our friends. No, so we have to have nice words and nice bodies. So we're nice to everybody. We share our toys and we play together nicely. Rule number two is that we keep our classroom clean, so when we make a mess, we have to pick it up, put it back where it goes. That means our toys, that means our food, we got to keep our classroom clean. Also, rule number three is we need to play safely. That's inside our classroom and outside of our classroom on the playground. When we're in the classroom, we need to walk not run, use our walking feet. We also need to not climb on the furniture. 
When we're outside, we need to take turns on the slide and we need to be careful when we're on the slide. Also being safe this year means wearing our masks. Okay, so that also means we're being safe. We're gonna wear our masks when we're inside and we're going to take them off when we eat and then we have to put them back on when we're inside and then we do get to take them off when we go outside to play. So wearing our masks is very important for keeping us safe this year. And then our last rule right here, number four, is we listen to our teachers. So when the teachers give you a direction, you need to be listening and you need to follow those directions. So those are our rules. One more time, we are nice to everyone. We keep our classroom clean. We play safe and keep safe and we listen to our teachers. So those are our rules. Okay, we're gonna get into the calendar and every calendar we start with the month of the year. So every time I ask you what is the month called? So let me see, do you know what the month is called? Yep, that's right, it's called August. Can you say that with me? Say August. Good, okay, so it is August, and now we're gonna do the days of the week. I'm gonna teach you a days of the week song. Now with this song, we clap sometimes, we tap sometimes, sometimes I might have you jump, but today I'm gonna have you clap so we can learn the words and learn the song. So it's days of the week song, it goes like this. Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Very good, and if you don't know it, you'll learn it, and if you know it, I'm sure you are doing it. So, let's find out what day it is today. So, yesterday was Sunday, so Sunday, Monday, very good. Today is Monday. Here is the word Monday. Now, if I had you here at school, I would have a calendar helper. And that person's job, would they would come up, they would take Monday, and they would put the word right here. And then they would turn around and they would tell their friends what the day is. So let's say it together, here we go. So today is Monday, very good. So today is Monday. So we're going to find Monday up here at the top. There it is. And now we're going to come down to our empty spot right there. And every day has a number that goes with it. Yesterday's number was 23. Today's number is 24. 24. So let's see. What does it start with? Yep, a two and a four. Very good, let's say that again. Two and then a four. And when you squish it together, we say 24. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna put it right there. So now let's say the date together. Here we go. August 24th. 2020. Now this is the year 2020. So we like to do this. 2020. We kind of do a number two and then a zero with our fingers. Let's do that again. 2020. Very good. All right, so that is our calendar. Now we are going to move on to our color and our shape of the week. Every week you're going to learn a new color and a new shape. So let's see what we're going to learn this week. So what is this color? 
Green. Very good. What color is my shirt? Green. I have a turtle here. What color is Mr. Turtle? Green. Very good. Now, I am going to put Mr. Turtle and all his color friends up here on the board. So after we learn it, it's going to go right here on the board. All right. So yes, green is our color this week. And I'm going to teach you how to say it with no words. Just our fingers. Okay, so this is how we say green with our fingers. You're going to put out your pointer finger and your thumb. And that's how it's going to look. And then you're going to rock it. Yeah. I'm going to show you this way. Just like that. Very good. So that's how we say green with no words. Let's do it one more time. Quiet. Good job. Very good. All right, so green is our color. And what is this shape? <gasps> circle. Very good. Say it with me. Ready? Say circle. It goes down and up. And stop. That's how we make a circle. Very good. We also are going to do a letter of the week. But do I have a letter here? No, no letter. So no letter yet. But when we start, you will see letters right here. Okay, now we're going to do our weather of the day. Now, Mrs. Gadomsky's weather might be different where you where I'm at might be different from where you guys are at. And when I'm doing this video, the weather could be different. And then when you watch the video, the weather could be different at your place too. So just know that the weather changes all the time, very quickly. It could be sunny and then all of a sudden it could be rainy. So just make sure when I'm doing the weather in the video that you make sure you look out and see if it's the same or if it's different, because it could be the same, but it could be different. All right, so with our weather, we have four seasons. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall. And right now, the season that we're in is called summer. So I'm gonna move the arrow right there, and I'm gonna teach you how we do summer. So when I say, what season is it, you guys are going to say, summer. Very good. Let's do it again. Ready? What season is it, boys and girls? Summer. Woo. Very good. It is summer. All right. So here is our weather. So if you were in school, I would have a weather helper. And that person would come up, and they would help me decide and put up all the pictures and the words for the weather. So let's see what we've got today. We could pick hot, um, we could pick windy, we could pick sunny or rainy. So I'm looking outside and where I'm at right now, it looks sunny. So I'm gonna take off the sunny picture and it's Monday today. So I have to find Monday down here Oh, there it is. And I'm going to put it on right there. Now I'm going to use my eyes and I'm going to look at this word, these letters down here. And I'm going to look for the S because I want to find the same word on my board here. So let's see. Is this the S? No. Is this the S? Yes, I think I found it. Let me take it off. Let me see. Is that the same? Yeah. All right. So I found the word sunny. I'm going to put it right there. So now I need one more picture. So let's see. Is it hot, windy, rainy? Well, it is a little windy, but it is hot right now. So I think I'm going to choose hot. And hot starts with an H. So now I'm going to put hot. And now I need to look for the H. Let's see. I'm trying to find. That's not it. I 
don't think that's it. Oh, this looks like it's the same. Let's, let's double check. Let's see. I found it. It's the same. Okay, so I'm going to put it right there. All right, so now I need your help to read the weather with me. We're going to read the reporters. Are we ready to be the weather reporters? I don't hear you. Are you ready? Okay, very good. So copy after me. Say the weather today is sunny. <gasps> Get your sunny out. Very good, sunny. And hot. We're going to do this. Hot. Very good. So let's say it again. It is sunny and hot. And that's the weather for where I'm at right now. Very good, boys and girls. So that is large group or carpet time. And you're going to watch a video every day. So tomorrow you'll watch the video for Tuesday because today is Monday. So tomorrow you'll watch the video for Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye.